Aaron Beard, go first, please. Hey, Walker. Uh, I'm curious. This was this is the best team in the ACC leading the league, and this is a heck of a way to have your, the best game of your freshman season so far. What was it about this game or this style of play that sort of brought this out of you today? Um, I mean, first off, props to Florida State. They're a very talented team, um, and we saw that in the first and second half, but especially in the first half, we struggled. Um, I couldn't really tell you, honestly. I just think that our, t our, our whole team stepped up and there's fans. Um, shout out to the fans for coming. And obviously they couldn't come before, but, you know, just a combination of just a bunch of stuff. Greg Barnes. Hey, Walker. Uh, Garrison and Ramondo, neither of them got uh, a field goal attempt in the first half. FSU was, was, was pretty effective defensively in the post. Did you see anything from the sideline before you came in that you could exploit? Or what, what changed for you when you got in the game and were able to get into the rhythm? Um, I wouldn't say really exploit, but, I mean, they always tried to front the post. So, you know, just trying to, before he does, you know, swing your hip uh, towards the high side. Um, but I, I wouldn't really say there's anything to exploit. Brendan? Hey, Walker. Um, yeah, Roy has told us a little bit about the difficult start to the season you had, having that pause right before practices start. Can you just tell us what was that experience like in your own words? How difficult was it? And, um, you know, getting back to this point, how validating is it to, to have this sort of performance? Um, it was tough. Um, it was really tough. But, I mean, everyone in the country is going through stuff. Um, so I'm really no different. Um, I just think uh, as far as performance goes, I just think our whole team – did really well. And uh, I mean, a lot, a lot of my points were just, you know, I was in the right place at the right time, uh, had guards and everyone bigs, just, you know, throwing the ball when I was two feet away from the basket. So uh, props to them too. Hunter, go ahead. Hey Walker, congratulations on the win. So just by looking at the shirt right there, Roy Williams 900th win, pretty heavy on the team's mind. Um, how much were you guys thinking about that going into the game? And was it sort of, did it sort of become a reality at some point as the game went on? Um, <laughs> this is going to sound bad, but to be honest, I didn't realize it <laughs> um, until about halftime. Um, and then at halftime, I was like, all right, we got we to gotta step it up. CL. Hey, Walker, uh, at what point during the comeback did you feel like we got them? Like, like you knew that you guys were going to be able to kind of complete that rally? Going into the halftime huddle, um, I just felt like we had a rough start with 14 turnovers. And, you know, they, they played well. They played very well. I just think we played poorly in the first – or I say poorly, not our best game. Um, I – I just knew knew is probably the wrong word. I, I, I had a very strong indication that we were going to win that game in, at halftime. And then we kind of made a little run down by two. And I was like, all right, we, we can win this. Adam, go ahead. Hey, Walker. The, at the end, when the game went final and you guys were going out on the court to celebrate a little bit, before you got chest bumped by pretty much everyone in here, it looked like you took a look around for just a little bit, maybe at the crowd or – I'm not sure. Was was that just something you were trying to enjoy? You know, this win and in that moment, like, what do you, what were you thinking and what were you feeling there? Uh, well, it wasn't the uh, the empty seats. <laughs> so yeah, it was definitely the crowd. I mean, it was. I mean, that, that was my first time experiencing anything like that. Um, so you know, I just I get kind of chills and kind of smiling about it because it was just and it was like a seventh full. You know, three thousand out of twenty one thousand. Um, it, it was not a lost word, honestly. It was just, it was, that was amazing. Pat, can you mute whoever, whatever that is? Thank you. It's everyone outside in the arena, unfortunately. Okay. Um, Brendan, go ahead. Hey, Walker. Yeah, I, I was just going to follow up on that. When you did you hear the crowd chanting your name at one point? And if so, you know, what, what did that feel like as well? Uh, I might, I might have heard it. <laughs> um, once again, it's lost words. Uh, you know, playing at a historic program in a historic arena, hearing your name, so it's pretty cool. I would recommend it.
you both never experienced it. <laughs> Kiara, go ahead. Um, hey, Walker, I just wanted to kind of talk about Coach Williams' comments on you. He said that um, he loves you because you care so much. Um, what about your return to 100% um, and, you know, keeping your head up has really brought you full circle? Um, I think a lot of it has just been the encouragement of the staff and the players and everyone around me. Um, you know, nothing but encouragement. And I think it just speaks so much to the, the leadership of the coaching staff and the seniors and juniors and sophomores and even freshmen. Um, you know, everyone pats you on the shoulder and tells you to get your head up and, you know, keep going. That sounds kind of bad, but you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, they encourage you just to keep you moving forward. Cam Cunningham, last one. Walker, when you have a great game like tonight, what do the older bigs say to you after the game? Um, just, just a great game. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, with more, you know, water and screaming and chanting. <laughs> um, but just, just a great game. Thanks, Walker. Thanks, everyone.